local man says he found maggots inside a sandwich he bought at a restaurant inside Atlanta's airport. I'm looking at um, what I thought was Parmesan, right? Uh -huh. And the Parmesan began to move. The two food safety changes airport officials are making to try to prevent it from happening again. Good evening. I'm Erin Coleman in for Jovita Moore. I'm Justin Farmer and Channel 2 Action News got a tip last week about the maggot infested sandwich. And after we started asking the question, the airport's taking action to try to keep food sold there safe. I want warning you here, the video you're about to see is quite graphic. New at 11, Channel 2's Amy Napier Viteri live at the airport with the results of an inspection at that restaurant. Amy. Justin, just this afternoon we learned the Clayton County Board of Health found no citable violations when they came to inspect that restaurant on Friday after that complaint. The passenger says he bought a sandwich at an airport restaurant and when he opened it, he saw maggots on it. We do have video of what he found, but we do want to let viewers know that the images are a little bit unsettling. That's what I was served for lunch. Joel Walashuk got out his phone and recorded video after finding this when he opened his focaccia sandwich after boarding a flight to Miami for work Wednesday morning. So these are the worms. Maggots. Maggots crawling in and on the food he says he bought at the Cafe Intermezzo franchise location inside Terminal B at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. What I thought was Parmesan, right? Uh huh. And the Parmesan began to move. Wallace kept the sandwich and showed us the maggots when he got back to Atlanta Wednesday night. He says he called the restaurant, which is a franchise location of Cafe Intermezzo, and asked to meet with a manager, but no one was available that night. This isn't a wilted tomato. This isn't a moldy piece of bread. This is, these are maggots. We reached out to Cafe Intermezzo and spoke with their president by phone, who said they truly regret the isolated incident occurred and in a statement said it could not have been generated on our premises. They say the problem started at their bread supplier, with whom they've cut ties, adding all products from the vendor were removed. Not a single crumb or slice of bread from the vendor remains in the facility. That bread vendor told us by phone they don't believe the problem started in their facility, which a Department of Agriculture inspector visited late last week. The bakery says at this point they're still supplying other airport vendors. In a statement, the airport told us they're awaiting results of the investigation to determine further action. Wallace says a restaurant manager offered him a refund, which he declined. He says he just wants to be sure this won't happen to anyone else. My intent is my fellow traveler. I'm in this airport weekly, and it, it makes me uh, pretty angry. Now, both Cafe Intermezzo and airport officials say they take food safety and cleanliness very seriously. In fact, the Department of Aviation already does monthly inspections of all concessions here. But starting Friday, an airport spokesperson says they're now going to be equipping all restaurant managers with ultraviolet inspection lights so that they can independently inspect all food shipments. Also, the Department of Aviation is going to begin touring food suppliers that are based here in Metro Atlanta, and they will be reporting any violations they may find to the corresponding authorities. We're live at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Amy Napier-Viteri, Channel 2 Action News, Nightly.